Hey Angela, just wanted to get you a quick video of the 2018 Ram 1500 Classic here. Um, so as you can see, we've got the blacked out Ram logo coming across the front with like the mesh grill pattern. And then we do have color matching bumpers on this one as well and what looks to be the LED headlights. Little intake and hood scoop up on the top there just to give the truck a cool design. Um, one of my favorite features on this one is the cool Ram uh, 1500 five spoke rims that you can see there. And then of course this one's got the Wrangler tires that are still in fantastic shape. Ram 1500 and then the Hemi 5.7 liter badging there, running board to get into the truck to keep it uh, so that uh, everyone can hop in nice and easy, show you the mirror there. It does look like it's heated. So privacy glass in the back. This one does have the tri-fold tunnel cover already. And then you do have the Ram logo coming across the back, Freedom Ford and the 4x4 logo. Looks like the tailgate is a little bit, not the tailgate, sorry, the back bumper does have a few little rust spots on it, but again, they are minor. And when you guys see it, maybe we work something out for you uh, about that. So fear not. And then we do have the dual exhaust on it as well. This one does come with two keys. So that's really nice. And then you do get the remote starter on your key as well. So you don't have to worry about that. Backup camera right beside the tailgate hitch. It's already got the spray and box liner, as you can see here, and a good amount of storage space in the box. Nice light tailgate, easy to open up and to quickly close. Driver's side gas tank there, and I'll open up the back seat. We have this nice black leather interior here, coming across the back, some cup holders there, and a charging output for anyone in the back. Rear sliding glass, and then this drops down for an armrest or a cup holder. Cool trim along the door as well. Close that up. Once we hop in, you can see We've got our Ram logo embroidered onto the steering wheel there. Let me just turn down the fan so you can kind of hear me a bit better. Also, I left the truck running so you could hear. Um, there was no Hemi tech. Everything sounds good when it's in idle. This one's got the Alpine sound system zoom in there so you can see the logo. You do have the uh, rear view mirror here and I believe this one's got the compass on it. Just give me a sec. Oh, sorry. When you press this assist button, it's pulling up something on the thing with the Uconnect. So that's a cool feature that you guys can set up once you take the truck yourself. Here's a control for the rear sliding glass. And then of course we do have this nice sunroof shining through as well. And these nice black leather bucket seats up here in the front. Heated and vented seats with your heated steering wheel controls for both the driver and the passenger side there. Um, I'll pull up the backup cam so you guys can see. Nice clear view. And then you do get your climate, your media, and then your phone settings all through there. It just doesn't want to let me because of course I don't have my phone connected. Navigation all set up through here. You can punch it in, view the map, set your home and work settings as well. So super nice. And then Sirius XM, um, drive shaft or your gear change right there. And then you do have your trailer brake controller on the left hand side. So yeah, really cool truck. Let me know what you think.